um, Chief Keith had to pay child support to a 33-year-old woman. His baby's mama was 33 years old when she got pregnant by him at 16. She didn't do a day in jail. So um, you probably did. She's 25, a Houston teacher at Holland Middle School. She was arrested and charged for grooming, texting, and kissing middle school girls. Mm -hmm. So this is one of girls. Then I seen this lady. This is all last week. 31-year-old Connecticut married lunch lady arrested for having sex with a 14-year-old boy and sending him new pictures, as well as 34-year-old teacher Jacqueline Ma arrested for sexual abuse. Because she was 45 and said she's a cheer coach, but she was charged with R word after allegedly having sex with her daughter's 16 year old boyfriend over 300 times. Right? So stop listening to these people talking about, oh, bodies don't count. They count, goddammit. That you keep going through a bunch of bad events and unhealthy circumstances don't count. They don't build y'all the way they build men, they just don't. I think we don't factor in the fact that, truthfully, the more times a woman has a man ejaculate inside of her, that is literally another person's DNA being absorbed into her body. And if you notice, most women who fucked a lot of people crazy as shit, yes. because they've literally had a lot of different souls in them. That's why they have the thing called soul ties. As a matter of fact, they even have this thing psychologically that if a man gives a woman an orgasm for that 30 days until she has her period again, she belongs to that man. He has imprinted mm -hmm. on that woman. So these things, when you have these women sleeping with multiple men at the same time, they're nuts. That's why if you listen to them, most of them have drug problems, alcohol problems, and I'm not even playing with you. Yeah. You sit up there taking that many damn dicks, there's a problem with you because you're literally bringing in the DNA of another individual and holding it because I'm spitting it out of me. It's going in you and it's just sitting in there, just marinating. And we can, smell, we can smell the presence of another man right. on you. Getting them. Uh, I'll say it again. Hey. We can smell the presence of another man on you, if you really be honest. Get, you know, get, like dogs. Yes. Get, getting them nuts make y'all nuts, ladies. Y'all better chill yeah. out. Abusers are like vampires. Vampires cannot come into your house unless you invite them in. All these abusers, abusers don't have kids of their own. They typically have kids of yours, and you have to bring them around. Because a father, let me tell you what happens. Even if we know we didn't do it, that's why fathers are important. And you men on the panel and you men in the comment section, tell me if I'm wrong. If it happened under your watch, you take it as your fault. You don't wait for somebody else to say it's your fault. That's what a fucking man does. We wouldn't sit up here and say, it's not my fault. I didn't know that the child did No, 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 no. It happened under my watch. And there's been several men whose daughters have gotten murdered by somebody. It had nothing to do with them. Their daughter got murdered by the boyfriend at 16. You know what happened within six months? The father killed himself. Do you know why? Because he felt it was his fault. Even Whenever though it wasn't. You were per I said because. Exactly. Said because. Even though it wasn't. I said because he felt it was exactly. because of his. Okay, you said exactly three times. Then let me finish the sentence. The point is because he took responsibility, which is what a leader is supposed to do. Every coach is not at fault for his losses, but if he lose too much, who do they fire? Coach. Men understand that. Stop being in leader positions if you don't want to take the blame. Um, I'm of the belief, I think I, I agree with them in a sense, because regardless whether we like it or not, if I send my child to that school, the kid is going to still look at you. Why didn't you protect me? They're looking for you to vet these people that you're bringing around them. They're looking for you to do. Well, your I put the responsibility where it belonged on the predator from the beginning. So we can't pretend that's a lie. However, when we're talking about which parent is pushing sex towards the child, it is majority the father pushing sex towards his son. Period. There aren't very many fathers Period. in black homes. Period. Why it doesn't matter. Even when they're not at the home, they're still oh pushing their sons. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm asking you a serious question. How can it be a large number of boys who are wanting to do this if it ain't a large number of men who are raising them? Because even if they're not raising them, it's not like they don't know them. It's not like they don't see them. Jesus. Most Christ. children, most wow. children, most children don't have parents that so they just don't know who they are. They know who their father is. 
And when he sees them, when he finally gets to see them as a teenager, he's like, hey, what man, did you get a little dick wet yet? That's his question to his son. These men should stop encouraging their sons to have sex no matter what. It is a problem because they're not saying, hey, this teacher is raping me like these little girls are. They're saying, oh, man, I got caught. Oh, man, I... I, I had a baby, but they're not saying this woman is raping me. Even when they're having sex with older women and they come back later and talk about it, they don't talk about it as it's a trauma. They talk about it as I started out early. I started out doing exactly what I knew what I needed to do from a young age. That type of energy is what they're bringing, not, oh, this was trauma. Oh, she hurt me. That's rare. Most of the cases it's, I don't care. It isn't rape. I wanted it no matter how young these little boys are. The same reason these women tell their sons, he gonna be a lady killer. Why would you tell that boy he gonna be running through a bunch of women? You don't need to settle down. You better shop around. Don't settle down with the first chick you lay down with. These are females saying this, but you just literally put it on men. As a matter of fact, who's the one who makes fun of a man for not having sex? Is it another man. man? It's typically a woman who says, you don't get no put. Yes, it is. Because I've literally saw YouTubers. He just saying that because he can't get no woman. He can't get no sex. Every time a man stands up for men, the first person to come up in that man's comment section and tell him why he's standing up for men, and they say he's not getting pussy. Those are the words they say. They don't say anything else. Matter of fact, they'll check his sexuality and say you must be gay. Hey, Tommy, hold on. And, and plus, think about the You answer. smile all you want, but I'm telling the truth. And here's the thing, though, Tommy. Why is it that black women go around bragging about being the most educated group in the United States, yet their children are the least educated group in the United States? So that shows they're poor leaders. Someone tell me I'm lying. No one in their right mind would brag about being the most educated while your children are the least. That means you're selfish. No man would brag about how he's sitting there swar swabbed out and his kid broke. It's insane. You live with these children. They're yours. You're raising them. So why do you go around putting up pictures of you getting graduated? Are you graduating with five of your children with you and three of your children are going to end up in jail because you're neglectful? There's no reason for someone. There's not a basketball player right now that brags about how great he is and his son ain't shit. His son can't play. He wants his son to be as good as him. He wants his son to be better than him. So if black women are the most educated women in the United States, and they're mostly raising children themselves, their children should be the most educated in the United States by far. Not How many of y'all been college students? How many of y'all been college students? And as a college student, you can't go and ask your fucking family to send you shit and put no money on your books, but you in jail for four years, they send motherfucker all kind of damn money. When your ass graduate, you get a smaller party than his ass got when he got out of jail. That don't make sense. And again, these households are full of women. And now finally, you can get more pussy saying you spent four years in jail than you spent four years in college. Now tell me I'm lying. And that ain't a fucking man problem because men aren't fucking each other. They're Fucking women and women are finding that shit attractive. So you tell me who's at fault. 